I'll just uh, I'll, I'll verbally say them. Looks like uh, Ed Wurgler is sitting on 23,400 in chips. Uh, Bobby Miller, who's playing for Paul Moskowitz, is sitting on 27,600 in chips. And Steve Day with 9,200 in chips. And I think we're going to get this rolling. What blind level are we going to be at? The uh, blind level should be uh, blind level 10, which is we were at 500,000, 600, 1,200. 600, 1,200 to go. And the cards are in the air. You're watching Chase the Bracelet, game number Mom. eight, season three. Join us on the Facebook page at facebook.com slash chase the bracelet. with an E. Hello, Ed wakes up with pocket aces, and he's not going to get any callers. Shakes his head in disbelief. I do love that. I think wait man the season is too late. Pick a night. Okay. All right, viewing audience in Northeast Ohio, we're talking about a cash game getting going here. So if you'd like to email us or contact Brandon Rosenberg, suited Dan Crafton, or Tony Price. If you're interested in playing. <laughs> Catch me on Twitter at suited Dan. Is that at suited Dan? That's at suited Dan. If you're interested in playing in a cash game here on a cha at the Chase of Bracelet Studios. One, two. One, two, no lemon, hold them. Broadcast, Broadcast live. Broadcast live. Two, five. Oh, I'm, I'm, as long as I'm commentating it or something like that, go for it. I'm, I'm too wimpy. I've never played a 2 5 game. Um, I work too hard for my money. <laughs> Ed Wiggler, 5 3 of diamonds. Suited gappers. That's hot. Just like a call. All in. All in Steve Day. Steve's six, all in. Seven, wow, six. Steve has just been jamming with everything. And these guys are folding. That's fantastic. These big stacks are like, no, I'm going to hold on right to time. these chips. is 5-7 off. Steve Day with Queen 8. Calls. Two players to the flop. Two 
Two four jack hits the board. Two spades. Probably gonna put a little feeler bet out there. The ten three. Uh oh. That's oh man, that was close. <laughs> Raise has been announced. Re-raised by Steve Day. Steve actually has the best hand at the moment. I was trying to figure out where he's at. Right. So does Steve have any tells when he does that? I I, I saw him kind of rocking back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we tell everybody yours. It's just as soon as we see you have seven deuce, we know you're raising. <laughs> yeah, when when uh, <laughs> when we see you breathe, that means you're in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Brandon breathing? Yes, he's in a hand. Ed Wiggler <laughs> with Ace Jack. Let's see if he just limps or raises a little bit. He should limp and let Steve raise him. As aggressive as Steve's been playing, he could just easily raise it. But I don't think Ed sees that. Set the little bear trap. 27 you, Steve. Nope. Race of 2,700 was enough. All he had to do was let Steve get the first day. <laughs> you might have caught it earlier, uh... Brandon was snoring on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Burglar to act first with his 910 suited in hearts. But just now in the broadcast booth, we're keeping him awake. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Raise to 26. Ed raises with his 910 suited connected. Steve jams him. Steve again with the jam. Yep. King eight. Fourteen thousand two hundred. All in. Kate. Fourteen thousand two hundred. Almost an exact fifty-fifty here. It can't do so. can't do this wrong either way. Yeah, but I think he's thinking about that first place right now. Now, Steve does not know how good he is, but he's actually a little bit better than Ed. <coughs> Steve's going to get right back in this tournament. Day with the Jack Queen Diamonds. He's been jamming hard with everything. Let's see what he does. Raise the 48. Raises 48, almost half his stack. And 5 6 off. Can't call that. Wah, wah, wah. 6 12. Now I see a pink in there. What just happened? Steve's jammed every hand. I think he took out a loan at the bank. Steve Day again with a decent hand. Gets a walk. Gets the walk. Late back poker is not going to win you any pots, folks. Not three handed. 
I'm not really touching on that like hard, just, you know. Mm -hmm. First commercial they've shit on her that looks good. Have you had that yet? No. <laughs> I'm, gonna go swears by it. I'm gonna go get some. Oh yeah. Uh, it's just like already pre mixed coffee. Yeah. First ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. Oh, I love that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I love that stuff. I may be I may be uh, stretching that a little bit. <laughs> I've been caught with my bluff. He's looking at me like I care about high fructose <laughs> corn syrup. <laughs> yeah, that's in my diet plan. It's the uh, the food pyramid that's at the very top. Yeah. Yeah, we. Bobby's all in. Wow. Twenty thousand eight hundred and all that. Ed Workler. Pocket size. Bobby is all in. Difficult call, but probably the right thing to do. I think at least one of these guys are gonna call him. Too bad Brandon's not in there to call clock. <laughs> 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 oh, Ed folds away the best hand. Sevens go in the muck. <clears throat> Actually, Steve with the second best. Could be trying to keep him honest. And a call. Steve does call. A heads up action here. Steve is behind. <laughs> ten nine deuce. Nine, ten. Nope, there it is. Jack Hits the straight. jack on the fourth street. Wow. There's Steve, Steve the win. Oh. I think uh, Bobby had him by yes. a little bit. <laughs> 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 that horseshoe's really working well now. Not sure what's going on with Steve. He's either having a heart attack and we need an ambulance in here, or he's happy. <laughs> Look, his face is all red. That, that is a big hand. <laughs> Was he sweating it? <laughs> guy's all red. BJ, please check Steve's pulse. He's not looking well. I think it was a lighting issue. Back. Uh, oh, okay. It was Train's head affected the camera lighting. Oh, wait, that didn't take Bobby out of the tournament, huh? No. Bobby has a handful of chips left. I think he's got about 300 or 700. Oh, there's, a, there's a purple. Uh, under 1,000, I might guess. Hey, that's not good, huh? I, I didn't think he had chips left. I thought he was just sharing a conversation. <laughs> Trey is already dealing him out of the game. So Bobby's sitting on 1,000 even. He's like, really? You gotta, you gotta come in and ask me how many chips I got after this. And we're sharing cards. Steve with the best hand. The Don Tatter. <laughs> guy loves, guy loves that hand though. Bob's all in for less right now. Steve with best hand here. Bobby cannot make the full complete big blind. He's in for a thousand. It is twelve hundred to play. Ed oh, calls dark. dark. I love when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> we do have two live players still. Bobby isn't even gonna look. And he probably he probably doesn't want to. Oh, he Steve does take a peek. Oh. What happened to the cards? I thought Steve had a jack five. Both those guys have a three. Steve with best hand at the moment. 
check mark goes <laughs> uh, to Bobby. Bobby catches it on the river with a five. He triples up. <laughs> River's the five for the win. Oh. <laughs> Low stacks do not wait, leave this turn over. Right. Uh, hey, they didn't give him the whole pot, did they? He's only in for a thousand, PJ. He maybe they for the maybe they worked it out. I don't know. I think so. Oh, and look at him, he gets pocket eight. Ed's cards are not reading. There we go. Steve's going to jump in with his queen yeah. 10. I'm going to guess Bobby's all in. And Bobby's not going to let pocket eights go with a handful of chips. A Boom. Ed with his 10 3. I predict Ed will fold. Not to steal your thunder, though. <laughs> Ed's going to, I mean, Steve's going to call. Steve's going to call with two overs. Doink, doink, doink. Ed's hand not mucked. Oh, my tree, what a hit. Sorry. Damn it. Checkmark goes to Bobby again. Bobby is now the six grand. Steve's thinking right now, how do we get rid of this guy? Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, let's get train move this big head out of the way. <laughs> Bobby Miller to act first. See the Paul Moskowitz's hand. King Deuce goes all in. I think it's gonna call. Ed, Ed likes Ed likes holding on the aces though. This he still has Steve to act behind him, but uh, call seventy-two. We have one call. Seven thousand two hundred. Heads up, action. Yeah, yeah. We'll see, Ed's going to flop. Down in chips too. Flop's going to be king jack ace. Queen jack queen. Queen six ace plays. Bobby's going. Rear heads up. Bobby Miller out in third place. Two players. See you, B. Steve Bay on the left and Ed Worker on the right. I don't think he knows where we're at. I don't think he knows where we're at. Next hand, guys, put 6 and 12 out there for me, don't they? Eggs are small. So currently 6 12, and next hand, I believe, is 7 14. And we are heads up. Steve <laughs> has 36,000 and Ed has just over 24. Don't know. Get it, Bob. Raise has been announced. He might have to secretly ask Trent. Ed announces a raise with his ace five. Yes, sir. You can do that. Way too much out there. You're good. Here. Yep. Raise the five thousand. Raise the five thousand by Ed Wickler and Steve Day Folds. Uh, I'll tell you. Uh, uh, I don't know. What are the blinds now? PJ. Uh, seven fourteen. Seven fourteen. We're doing it. Blinds. Blinds. It's okay. Addition out. Put 
the number, Tarz? It's 8016. Yeah, we should know. 36,024. I'm sorry, 800, 1600. Are the blinds? Steve Day with 3 5 offsuit and Abel Glue with pocket nines. Yep. We're not going to be up for a while, are we? No. Where are we at? Call 16. Thirty-six on top by Ed Wurgler with his nines and Steve Day folds. <laughs> Bobby B million out in third. Calls 800 in the small blind for 1600 is the big blind. We see a flop. Steve Day 2%. Catching is 2. Ed Worker 2 pair. That is 2 pair. Steve hits a deuce. Steve lets it go. It's like a 2500 bet by Ed Worker. Takes it down. It would been great if that was a deuce ace 4. Because all them chips would have been in. Ace King King hits the flop. Ed checks again. Check. Action on Steve. Checks. Anybody river it? No. Just Queen High is good. Yeah. Queen High is going to take it. We started with 10 players and we're down to two. 947 Eastern Standard Time. Ed Wurgler, best hand with ace queen of clubs. He's on the button. He's first to act. Raise now. Raise announced by Ed. I think Steve will call if it's not too big. Total. That was a little too big. Blinds are 800, 1600. Ed does have a chip advantage at this point. And I believe if Ed does take a first place tonight, he will take sole possession of first place. It'll be close. It might even be a tie. Connected cards for Steve. Ed checks his option in the big blind. Ten king seven. Ed it does. Hit, yeah, hits middle pair. Looks like uh, Steve got a free card. Didn't do him any good. Sixteen is the bet. Raise now. Min raise, 32 now. That's Steve won the hit here. Interesting. 
Call. Ed gets a check mark. Checks. Two pairs, sevens and tens with the king. Ed checks. That's 6,000. 6, bet by Steve. Steve's trying to take this Steve pot down. 6, I like it. I do too. Oh. I like this style from Steve. Usually when Steve has a really strong hand, he's very still. And every time he kind of bangs at it with nothing... Ed doesn't see that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I could be completely wrong. What's your wow. tell? Nice play by Steve. Brandon, you don't have a tell. You, you play too many hands for there to be a tell. I need to have you on the camera a little longer. I will admit it was nice to watch you play poker. So I was taking some notes. Ed with the best hand at the moment. Check Queen of Diamonds on the button. I think that I fielded some best hand in you. Ed with a king seven suited. Steve with four or five unsuited connectors. I'm suited, Dan. <laughs> Bruce Buffer. <laughs> Let's see the flop. <laughs> deuce, deuce, four. Go, Steve. Go catches Steve. the four. Ed tosses him in. Ed disgustedly says, you would play that garbage. <laughs> I'd enjoy that. If you're interested, I think the position's open. Steve. <laughs> I don't know. I like it here. I like it here. I have control issues. <laughs> Steve just limps in with his ace queen, hoping that that Ed's gonna hit something. Huh? Ed Steve does not. hit an ace. Check, check. Oh man, he's setting the trap. Now he's gonna throw a little bet out. And he bets seventy-five hundred. Seems a little excessive. So he limps in, checks. No, actually, it's a pot size bet, isn't it? I don't know. If I were to play next season, Dan's in it. I don't know if uh, I'm a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to hear what you do. There's a Monday game that I play in every Monday. If you want to play with me weekly. Steve takes down the pot. But then I also. Small blind to Ed. With 800 or uh, yeah, 800 in the pot. Steve Day with 1600 in the pot and for the big blind. and Steve Holtz. Ed calls. 
shaping up all right, I'm sorry. Hey, I haven't even thought about it. All right. All right. Steve just calls the big blind, and Ed Workler with 2-5 checks his option. Both players have a 2, and a deuce hits the board. Steve, that's 32. Oh, that was an easier fold for Ed than I thought it was going to be. We're getting excited Pulse. about the cash game that's coming up. Yeah, yeah. Made made like thirty bucks and left. Same bet, thirty two. All right, let's see what's going on here. Steve Day with the best hand. Ed put out a bet. Steve folds. <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it was not, and actually, the, uh, the way it's set up now, it, it going to read them better with that uh, antenna, the huge antenna that's in there. All right, small blind is Ed. Steve raised 32. Raised at 3,200, double the big blind. Connected cards, 8-9 for Steve and Ed Wurgler with King-7. Trying to figure out if he... Interesting fold. Min bet takes it down. takes first tonight, he'll make first place. If if he doesn't, Paul might bump the first. Oh, it'll be a tie? Would it? I don't, it didn't print it out. Steve with an ace 10, Ed with king 9. This could be interesting. Yeah, it might be the first hand. Uh, might actually see some action. Can raise to 3,200 again? Steve raises to 32. 16 more to you, then. Some, uh, I was going to say that's some tight play for uh, heads up action. <laughs> it's actually on here. Did you hear it the one time I did it? <laughs> Steve hits his ace. A lot of scare cards out 3, there. Though. It does lead out betting. Yeah, 3,000. He, he has a flush draw. 5 on top. 5,000 on top. Ed with a 32% here. Ed calls. Ed calls. Two of hearts Steve on gets the river. a check mark. <laughs> Busted flush draw. 
Not a scare card for <coughs> Steve. I can see him betting here. There are three diamonds on the board, though. Steve might be wondering. That's true. Looks like Ed reaching for chips. Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think he did. I think action is on Ed. Yeah. Both, poop, both people under the spotlight right now. <laughs> See, Steve is not shaking back and forth. Ed checks. Steve's all in. Steve Day all in. <coughs> Ed lets it go. Even though he had the king. Good fold. Steve had an ace, though. Yes. Blinds are up. 1,000, 2,000 are the blinds. You're watching Heads Up Action on Chase Bracelet. Season 3, game number 8. With a fantastic deuce eight. Or oh, sorry, Steve. And Ed with ten five suited. <laughs> I've been looking at these names for three hours, four hours now. <laughs> Way too long for a heads up. Queen nine queen. Both players check. And then Jack. on the river. Ed Best with the 10. Eight high. I got a 10. 10 high. Ed takes it. <laughs> <laughs> Slow roll Ed. Yes, sir. 1,000, 2,000. I didn't do to you what I did. Okay. You look at yourself. I didn't do it. Maybe. <laughs> Ace eight for Steve. Steve in the small blind with a thousand invested at the moment. I just make predictions on what people are going to do, and I'm pretty close. Yeah. I'm always like, let's see, Brandon's got 7 8 suited. He's probably going to go about 4.5x bet, and like, boom, you do it. Steve Day in the small blind with a thousand. Let's just get two big hands, please. First act. <laughs> there you go. Not exactly what I expected. Heads up with a king. Still only gives him a 20% Steve bid. makes it 4,000 to go. Call by Ed. Steve has to look at his cards again. Oh. Queen 6-6. Six, six. Oh. 
Edge is set in the trap. Oh, man. I think it's uh, low enough that... That is all in for 8,500 more. Who folded it? In that place, it's not good to be the 1%. Steve, I'll This is one of the longer heads up matches. Yeah. We, n we normally, we barely have time to normally sit here and talk before the tournament's over. 6 7 suited versus 6 9 suited. Why couldn't they both hit a six? <laughs> Why? Why? Hello. That's 3,000. Sorry. No, I, and actually I turned it off and turned it back on. Can I get another whiskey and sour, please? Twist the line. <laughs> and with the up and down straight draw, bet at it, Steve Holt. Yes. <laughs> That's a good catch. <laughs> yeah, boys. Look at those cat like replays. Damn crap. And then they're branded. Did we ask for that? I told her I wanted a whiskey sour, a little <laughs> slice of lime. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got hit in the face of the line until I, I saved you. <laughs> yes. Grace has been announced. Flying limes in the studio. Steve makes it 7,000 total. Ed in the small line puts out his thousand. Ed with suited gappers. <coughs> Ray's has been announced. <laughs> five thousand dollars. Steve Day announces a raise and puts another five thousand. Tony, I wish there. I wish you'd say suited gapper again. Su well, Ed looking down at his suited gappers again. <laughs> Folds again. Steve's horseshoe wins again. Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't blame him there. I think he wanted to call and just jam it, but, I mean, do you really want to walk away from the tournament saying I lost because I jammed with three five of clubs? Uh, I'm, there are a lot of people that would say that. <laughs> calls. Steve calls with his jack nine. Raise 3,000 more. Raise 3,000 and a call. 395. Steve Day catches the nine. Yes, sir. It's bad as Steve. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Steve catches top pair here. I think he should check and let Ed try to do another continuation bit. Steve, that's 8,000. <clears throat> Steve bets and takes it down. I mean, I think he gets some chips out of Ed if he uh, if he just checks that down. Let's Ed do another C bet on it. Yeah. Agreed. Steve with the Dale Brenton. 
Brady's been announced. Steve makes it seven total. Steve, Steve is being the aggressor here, and yes, he, he, is. he is needling uh, Ed Stack down. Five, five, five. Wow. Steve's still best. Okay, Steve in the small blind this time. Blind with a thousand, I think. Steve with a A7. <laughs> Ed pulled to 6 8. Button on, on uh, Ed. Ed to, act, uh, yeah, Ed to act first and small blind. 1,000 in the pot. Looks like he only has about 6,200 behind. No, I see a pink in there. Yeah. Uh, I think he's under 10. Ed folds a small block, loses another thousand. Seventy, seventy-five. But he he is sitting there. <laughs> I, I have seen Ed like a Jack so there we go. <laughs> yes, you rail birds. <laughs> Ed all in with Jack five, five. and uh, Steve, I think, is going to call with an ace queen. <laughs> <laughs> That's the call. We have one player all in, 31%. I will, I will say hand, that uh, Ed does have live cards at the moment. Yes, he does. Don't call it tatter for nothing. Doesn't look good, oh, though. Yes. Yep. Good game. And Steve right. is our winner. Woo! Big round of applause for Steve. Don't forget, we won't be back for two weeks. <laughs> oh, two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Uh, we're taking Mother's Day off, so spend some time with your mothers. Yes. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> All right, folks, we'll see you in two weeks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.